John Quintaro at the 320 Walk Road, Brian Manager. And I'm a high school student. I'm here to talk about how important it is for high school students to learn and practice their First Amendment rights. Freedom of speech that doesn't interfere or harm education should never be stopped. The circumstance of a teen wearing a Make America Great Again t-shirt mirrors perfectly the landmark court case decision of Tinker vs. Moore. In this case, a 13-year-old girl wore a bracelet to protest the Vietnam War. After wearing it to school, immediately upon arrival, the girl was told to take it off or face a school suspension. Her and four others would end up being suspended. Then the students were informed they couldn't come back until they removed the bracelets. This prompted the parents to file a lawsuit. The end result of the lawsuit was, you don't shed your First Amendment rights when you enter a school. The fact is that the teen that wore a shirt that said, Make America Great Again, lost her First Amendment right when asked to cover up a t-shirt that said, Make America Great Again. Her First Amendment right was taken away. This can never happen again to any student ever again, regardless of their political beliefs. As a current high school student, I see the impact students can make when their voices are spoken and their beliefs showcased. For example, at Portsmouth High School, a group of sisters went to the school board to ask for our lunch trays to not be styrofoam, which styrofoam which styrofoam trays can cause an immense environment damage. Their voice, their voice was heard, and now at Portsmouth High School, they have environmentally, environmentally friendly lunch trays. It doesn't take long for people to see the impacts that teens can make when our voice is heard. So I'm here to say that when a high school student is respectfully displaying their beliefs and opinions, no educator should ever tell a student to cover up or put something over it because it's not an alienable right to be able to practice our First Amendment right. I'm not an epic resident. I, I'm from two towns over in Canada. My name is Dana Buckley, and I'm on the school board in Canada. So I can kind of relate to a lot of things of problems that problems deal with the school board. But I gotta tell you, when I first heard the news about what had happened, I thought to myself, what kind of environment are they providing in the schools in that family, where a student can go into school and be told that because other students don't like her beliefs, they're gonna harass her and bully her, so the principal, who's supposed to treat all students equally, takes it out of her and takes away her First Amendment rights. There is no law in common law or statutory law, there's no right in the Constitution that says you have the right not to be offended. There is a right to free speech, though. And it's just so awful that the, the students aren't treated equally. I, I can't imagine that happening in my business. I just, I just can't. But, so if you, if you want to take this seriously, you can make all the plans, you can talk about we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But you know what the real test is? The real test would be if in six months from now, another student comes in and wears a shirt like Miss McKenzie wore, and she goes, he or she goes home that day, and the parents of that student say, how was school today? They say, great, I wore my Trump shirt, nobody bullied me or harassed me or intimidated me today. That's when you'll know that you've changed and you're, and you're living up to the faith that the people, the voters in this town have entrusted in you as school board members. You need to make that change, because this, this is just not acceptable. Representative Youssef from Salem. Uh, I served as uh, President Trump's chairman here in New Hampshire. And I'm just inspired to get up and speak because of some of the things I've heard in the room tonight. And I'm making a challenge to Ms. Martin, Ms. Williamson, and you, young lady, to get together in, in, in a, a society that's so linked with social media now the vitriol, the anger, the personalization of politics. It doesn't belong anymore. I, in Elk, and all over the country, and it experienced this. You, and it's, and it's not rhetoric, you guys are our future. We're counting on you to work together. 
this, this great state of New Hampshire, the fact that we're all together here talking openly like this about this issue is, is the greatest thing in the world. But you guys need to come together. Unity is not a, not a, a bad word. It's a real word. It's not a rhetorical word. It's something you have to work towards. We all have to understand we're all on the same team. We're all Americans. And you're all a part of the Epping School family. So help each other. Get along. Keep up the good work in this town. Thank you for your time. Man. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like the privilege of speaking? I see a gentleman approaching the mic. Ladies and gentlemen of the school board, Madam Chairman, Ms. McKinney, good to see you again. Um, a little intro, Ms. McKinney was actually my uh, middle school principal. Um, my name is Cody Belanger. I live in North. Uh, I live in Epping on North River Road. I'm a member of the Board of Selectmen, and I will strongly say that I do not speak on behalf of the Board of Selectmen. I, as a college student, I go to UNH, probably one of the most prestigious colleges in the state. Personal opinion. <laughs> it doesn't get better. We have to make a move. I can't go to college and speak my beliefs because I'm afraid of what those who disagree with me are going to respond to. There was a study regarding college students being afraid to pronounce their political beliefs. We need to change this now, not tomorrow, not yesterday. Actually, it should have been done yesterday. I want to commend every one of you that is sitting in front of us today for being up here and holding this forth. What a great way that we can move forward and what a great way for us to practice our First Amendment right. This isn't about, this isn't about Republicans or Democrats or Independents. This is about the Constitution of the United States that applies to all residents of the United States. I, as a member of the Board of Selectmen, am speaking on behalf of myself. I am here to help in any way that I possibly can to represent my constituents in the best possible capacity that I can. We have heard a lot from people, and I command everybody who came out here today, there was no fighting, there was no disrespect, we were all very respectful toward, towards each other. I just, I want to commend everybody for that. So thank you, Madam Chairman, school board members, and thank you to everybody else who came out today. I really appreciate it for you being respectful to our community because when we have an issue, we come together. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Cody. Cooked.